The most effective way to boost your recruitment is to spend time on what works. This is possible through analyzing your efforts and making data-driven decisions. Team Taylor's analytics gives you all the information you need to make these decisions, reach your recruitment goals, and drive growth. Let's go through all the metrics in Team Taylor and how to make the most of them. When you click on analytics, you land straight on an overview of all your data. Get an overview of your audience, like the amount of career site visits you have and where they're coming from, and your recruitment metrics, such as the average time it takes your company to hire or how long candidates are sitting in your inbox. You can also view data on your team's activity. Dive into the details of each of these areas in the tabs here on the left side. Under Audience, view how many visitors you have, the amount of page views your career site gets, and how many visitors have connected or applied for a position. Check out your conversion rate, that is, how many of your visitors end up applying for a job. In order to focus on only the most relevant data, you can, under every tab in Analytics, choose the location, department, job, and date range you want to view the metrics for. This filter will stay put, so you can click around everywhere in Analytics without having to reapply this filter every time you click on a new tab. Otherwise, click on the little X to clear the filter. You can see what devices your audience is using to view your site here. This helps you know which device to keep top of mind when designing your site. Sources shows you where your traffic is coming from. You can also see the traffic metrics of people who land on your career site via Connect emails or any kind of Team Taylor page here. To view individual candidates that applied from each specific source, just click on the arrow. The Promotions tab will show you how all of your external promotions are performing, both on job boards and social media ads. Once again, you can click on the arrow under Applications to view which candidates applied through each specific channel. Knowing what yields the best results helps you stay as cost-effective as possible. Let's move on to Recruitment Analytics. Under Pipeline Overview, you can get an overview of your recruitment process. The amount of applications received, how many sourced candidates you have, how many candidates are new in a specific recruitment process, the number of hires you've made, and the amount of candidates you've rejected. You can see these numbers broken down into stages, that is, in what stage of the recruitment process candidates move forward, back, or are rejected. Choose how you want to sort your data by clicking on your column of choice. Keep in mind, you can always export this data by clicking here, or change your view to whatever suits you best. Pipeline speed shows how fast you're moving candidates through your process. Hires show how many hires you've made, and all the details involved, such as the position they were hired for, when, and the time to hire. NPS Overview shows you what your NPS is, that is, your Net Promoter Score, how likely candidates are to recommend applying for a job at your company to a friend or a colleague. Here, you can see the amount of detractors, passives, and promoters. You can also respond to feedback by replying here. NPS per stage splits up the NPS score data into what stage candidates have responded to your survey in. OK, let's check out Jobs Overview. Jobs Overview gives you an overview of how all your jobs are performing. The amount of visits they're getting, applications received, sourced candidates, every individual candidate in each job, and the conversion rate. This allows our customers to benchmark periods against each other and understand the correlation between the numbers. For example, the amount of visits per application. Up here, you can see the average of all aggregated data about your jobs. Let's move on to reject reasons. This is where you get an overview as to why your candidates are being rejected or rejecting opportunities. You can view the breakdown of reasons and whether your company or the candidate rejects the opportunity. This data helps you understand what reasons are most common and how to improve your job ad or process in order to receive more relevant candidates. It also gives you an insight as to why candidates aren't interested in working at your company and help you turn that around. Under Team, you can view your team's activity and Referrals shows you which employees have given referrals and which candidates they've referred. The power of data is, ironically, immeasurable. This data helps you make better informed recruitment decisions and achieve your goals as a team and a company. Let us know if you have any questions.